Good morning, class. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday the 16th. We have a long read today, but before we get to that, we want to take a look at comparing and contrasting. It's one of our comprehension strategies in our reading book. I'm on the short read right now, page 55. One of the things that we talked about the other day is we're going to want to compare and contrast. A lot of times compare and contrast are made in this, what's called a Venn diagram. Let's read about it. Authors use text structure to organize the information in a text. Comparison is one of the kinds of text structures. Authors who use this text structure show how things are alike and different. So compare means how they are alike and contrast means how they are different. If we would look back on our story on pages 51 and 52, A World of Change, I can reread our other reading strategy this week to learn how slow natural processes and fast natural processes are alike and different. Remember our slow natural process example was the river through the Grand Canyon, one piece of sand at a time, and the fast ones were the tornadoes and hurricanes. Words such as some, but, and both, and like let me know what a comparison is and how it's being used. Let's take a look at those two natural processes first. Both of them change the surface of the earth. And when we read in our text, it talked about both of these natural processes. And when the word both, it means that that's how they are alike. There's also some differences between them. One, the slow natural processes have obviously happened over a long period of time. Whereas the fast ones happen suddenly. The slow ones, people can protect the land. Remember we talked about Lake Michigan and how we would build those um, wave breakers, break walls they're called. People cannot protect the land. When a tornado is coming, there is no stopping it. Today we're going to actually do what they said here at the bottom of the page. It says reread the sections fast and powerful. And then we're going to compare two of these. One a volcano and the other is a landslide. If you go in your Wednesday packets you should have worksheet page 22. They created the circles for you already and here's what I'd like you to label underneath the circles so we know which one's which. Let's put volcano on the left side. Just write it right underneath. And on the right side landslides. Now let's turn back to those pages and let's find out about volcanoes and landslides. Fast and powerful. Volcanoes form around openings in the Earth's crust. When pressure builds under the Earth's surface, hot melting rock called magma is forced upward. It flows through a volcano and out through the opening. Okay, volcanoes. I'm going to put down pressure. forces hot magma up and out. Now landslides don't have any hot magma, so this is obviously how it's going to be different. Eruptions can occur without warning, okay? They have the potential to cause a crisis in a community. I think that might be the same for landslides, so I might save that for the middle. Let's go over here and look for landslides. Like volcano eruptions, landslides can happen without warning. So landslides without warnings, volcanoes without warnings. So let's put that in the middle. Happen without warning. They occur when rocks and dirt loosened by heavy rains slide down a hill or a mountain. So the volcanoes happen because of pressure built up inside. Landslides happen because of heavy rains. Some landslides are small, others can be quite large and cause severe damage. I'm going to put that down here. Can be small or large. And I think we had another one. 
severe damage here can cause a crisis in the community. So I think both of them can be very dangerous. So that's how they're alike. All right, so we got some compare and contrast here. On the outside, we said how they were different. And on the inside, we said how they were alike. All right, guys, we did the assignment together in class today. So should be done. Check, make sure that you have your name on there. Go ahead and put your fingers on your name. Go back into the Wednesday folder, write in order. Watch the second video for our big read this week.